We're storytellers. We're trying to take, you know, the script and the footage that we're given and, and tell a story in the best, most efficient way possible. We're doing the final rewrite of the script. We're deciding what stays in, what goes out, what performances to use, how, what things to accent, what emotions to try and highlight. So it's the final, you know, layering of the story. Everything I learned as an editor, I learned from Michael Kahn. And his big thing was, give me the opportunity to be wrong. Let me try things, let me make mistakes, and don't persecute me for it. I mean, you make discoveries along the way that way. When I work with a director, I try and adapt to any way they want to work. For instance, with when I work with Ben Affleck, he sits next to me all day long. I mean, we just we cut the film together. He's there generally from when I get there to when I, when I leave. With Catherine Bigelow, she's around all the time, but it's much more, I trust you, you're the editor, edit the film, which is incredibly freeing, but also really scary. She has an incredible way of coming in, seeing things, saying five words that mean everything. I do involve my assistants a lot. I like to train my assistants to become editors, like I was trained, like Michael Kahn did for me, but having somebody in the room helps too. It's just sort of having a body in there, you sort of see things more clearly sometimes than you would, because I think that is the toughest thing about being an editor. I mean, I see these scenes hundreds of times, and keeping your perspective about whether changes are good, notes are good, you're going in the right direction is the hardest thing about the job. I come in really early, I watch all the dailies, I watch them at least once, try and watch them twice, make notes about performance. I do a lot of breaking the performances down line by line so I can compare performances against each other. And I'll write down notes about everything I like or don't like about a particular shot. Just anything that might be visually interesting, performance of course. By the time I start cutting, I've pretty much memorize the film. I know what every shot is, I know what every angle is, I know what I'm trying to say, I know where I'm coming from, I know where I'm going to. So by the time I'm cutting, you know, I've done all this what I call homework, which is sometimes incredibly painstakingly you know, mind-numbing. Michael Kahn refers to it as losing your forebrain, meaning just let yourself go. It becomes like a big puzzle. You do one scene at a time, and then as, as the pieces fit together, you make bigger sections, longer, until you know, I've been through the whole film, and, and I have an assembly. But then it then starts the shaping of it, kind of like a sculpture. You take a little off here, a little off there, until you find that you're highlighting the things you want to highlight, you're telling the story you want to tell in the most efficient way. Creativity is the, is the ability to think freely, you know, is to think outside the box, is to think uh, in a way that it's not constrained by anything. The best story I can tell about that is well, when I was working with Michael Mann. And I said, well, why don't we just, you know, we can cut from here to here. It would work perfectly. And he said, well, that would be easy. We want to do it in an interesting way, in a different way, you know, and find, but you don't want to do it different to the point where you're calling attention to the editing, but you want to do it different where it keeps, keeps the audience feeling fresh. I think good editing is seamless where and, and, you know, invisible. And it can be really overt, and you can have really, you know, extreme editing, but you don't ever want them to come out of the story. You don't ever let the audience feel like they're watching a movie. You want to just have them totally immersed. So to me, it's invisible, but that doesn't mean you can't do, a, do really interesting and different, different, you know, kinds of cutting. I just feel like I'm having fun. You get to tell stories and, and get to try and shape and take things that like look ordinary and make it into something special. You know, I'll watch a scene that's either emotional or maybe funny and I, I, I feel like all of a sudden I realize I'm laughing or I'm, I even cry sometimes, you know, like a regular audience while I'm doing it. So I just can't believe I found this thing that I love and that it's a job. I don't know what else I would do, so that's probably, what I would, that's probably why I, I do it.